Welcome all. This is Saud. This subject is to share the technical idea about a project to have home water tank level indication and alarm plus irrigation timer control. The system consists of a floater type uh, level uh, measurement, uh, wireless uh, transmitter unit and the level uh, display unit plus the irrigation timer. I have developed this device to have the option of connecting the water level uh, sensor to the display uh, unit either by wireless link uh, using the wireless transmitter or directly connecting the cable to the uh, display unit. Uh, the level sensor is very simple with one single floater. As the water level uh, rise, uh, four contacts uh, will activate accordingly at different uh, levels, that's uh, 25%, 50%, 75%, and uh, 100% of the total uh, uh, tank uh, level. Uh, these contacts are connected to the wireless uh, transmitter unit which will transmit the data to the uh, level uh, display uh, unit. The frequency used is uh, short range 433.9 MHz. The same uh, frequency uh, used for uh, car remote control uh, key. In fact, uh, this frequency is part of uh, ISM uh, band for uh, industrial, uh, scientific, and uh, medical applications. Uh, my advice uh, before proceeding with any wireless development uh, is to check telecommunication uh, regulations to confirm uh, if the frequency permitted and uh, what's the allowed. Uh, transmission power and, uh, and duration. I have made the display unit to accept both wireless uh, signal from the transmitter as well as uh, hard wires uh, connected uh, directly to the uh, sensor uh, based on uh, selection switch to select between the two options. Uh, therefore, if hardwire uh, connection is, is used, uh, uh, then no need to use the uh, transmitter at that case. The display unit displays the water in four steps LEDs, that is 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Uh, visible low-level alarm is there and uh, audible uh, also which we will uh, demonstrate uh, later. The irrigation timer is attached to the uh, display uh, uh, unit uh, so in case of low water level uh, uh, alarm the timer output uh, will be defeated and the irrigation will be disabled to keep uh, minimum uh, water for home usage. The irrigation command from the timer is uh, displayed here. This is uh, the status of the output uh, uh, going uh, to the solenoid uh, valve uh, to open or close the, the water. In my case, I, I use uh, 
a solenoid valve, uh, but it can be uh, anything else uh, like uh, a water pump uh, if required. Very fast, let's look at the internal uh, hardware of these devices. I, I used PIC16F84A microcontroller to run the main uh, program for the display unit. Uh, uh, we have here the selection switch as we have mentioned before. This to select the option of either wireless uh, connection to the transmitter unit or uh, by using uh, direct hardware to the sensor. And here we terminate the direct uh, wires from the the sensor uh, unit. Uh, antenna is also provided to extend the uh, signal uh, reception uh, level if uh, needed. The transmitter unit is also based on PIC 16 F84A uh, microcontroller. Uh, there is an optional uh, solar panel to, to charge the, the battery is, is, is also attached. Uh, there is a way also to charge the battery by using a, a, a DC a adapter if, if needed in that way. Uh, it is recommended not to transmit continu continuously. This should happen every few seconds or, or, or something. Uh, to reserve the battery charge for uh, for longer time. Let's start the practical demonstration to see how all this works. I will switch on the display uh, unit. Uh, as you can see, all the LEDs uh, are flashing. This indicates that, that there is no communication between the d display unit and the, and the transmitter uh, right now because the transmitter is, is off. So I'll switch on the transmitter unit. As you can see, all LEDs uh, they become off because currently the tank is empty and also uh, we are getting the low level uh, indication alarm and the audible uh, low level alarm uh, as well so I'll just silence the alarm yeah the alarm is uh, silent now and uh, let's fill the tank with the water and uh, observe what uh, happened. As I fill up the tank with the water, the LEDs start to light up uh, gradually. So 25% done, 50% done, 75% done. hundred percent so the tank is uh, full with water hundred percent and my indication here is also indicating that uh, the tank is uh, is full and in this case now I'll be able also to uh, switch on the irrigation uh, uh, output to the solenoid uh, valve I'll try to do that uh, manually from the timer so we'll just uh, bypass the the time and uh, switch on the output uh, manually just for our test so i can hear the click of uh, the relay and we, we can see the output uh, is indicating that it is on we'll try to zoom in some more So this is indicating that the solenoid uh, valve is, uh, is on. I 
I will drain the level uh, now, and we should expect the uh, low level uh, alarm to activate uh, when the level reach below 50%. So as we drop the level, you can notice that uh, the level indication of the LED is, is also dropping accordingly. So it's below 50 and we started getting the low level alarm uh, LED plus the audible uh, uh, sound uh, also. We'll try right now to activate the timer output to see what will happen. So the same way, I'll, I'll just bypass the timing setting of the timer and uh, manually activating the output and uh, yeah nothing happened so there is no any output going to the solenoid in this condition this function will help to stop the watering of uh, home garden in case of uh, low level and keep some minimum water for home uh, usage and as we keep filling up the tank again with water the alarm disappear Everything is showing 100% level again. Uh, we will try now to start again the irrigation output. Yeah, it's coming on. So I'll just uh, stop it. Uh, this was to show the idea about this project. Uh, I hope it was uh, useful. Thanks for watching.